with fights being canceled due to COVID protocols, the boss, Dana White, will pack an arena in Jacksonville full of fans. Why being able to say he did it first will have repercussions. Welcome back, bow throwers. This is Throwing Bows. Let's get it cracking. I'm Jose. I am here with Maria. Hey, everybody. And I'm here with John. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right. So let's just jump. Let's just jump straight into it. Let's talk about it. Let's get into round one. Let's grab our jump ropes and let's get this heart rate pumping and let's get ready for a good fucking training session here. So we're going to start this out by playing good idea, bad idea. Dana is so excited to get a sold out arena. He stated the other organizations say they were the first ones to do it. But then, but then he says, check that record that the UFC will be the first one to do it. And he mentions that there's other organizations that are saying they're, you know, opening arenas and stuff like that. And he's like, no, 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 no. You know how Dana is. No, 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 no. Not like us. We're selling it out, which is like, oh, okay. So you're packing people shoulder to shoulder uh, during COVID. All right, buddy. Yeah, this, this sounds like a good idea. I'm sure that this is not going to, you know, age poorly at all. So, John, is selling out an arena at this time uh, in humanity a good idea or a bad idea? Hmm. We're going to find out here real soon. Uh, but to answer your question, I think it is. Because at some point, somebody's got to be first and set the example. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got, and why not be first? Yes. Just why not be first? You've got other organizations in the state that will be watching to see mm -hmm. what you do wrong, what you do right. And uh, so why not show them how it works? Or at least fall flat on your face trying. Mm -hmm. I like that. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not uh, cheating, you're not trying type mentality. Okay, I can get behind that. All right. I mean, listen, I don't know how many cheaters are buried in the Vegas uh, desert because if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, but you're right. Hey, listen, I might as well go out all guts and, you know, all guts and glory and all that good shit. All right. You went a little bit different there, John. I, I really, you're surprising me. You're really, you're really putting them on the table today. All right. So Maria, <laughs> the fans bought the tickets immediately as soon as they went on sale. And I mean, immediately Dana White had his own red panty party at the end of that day. So good idea or bad idea for the fans to sit in this sold out arena. Ooh, so I think it's a fantastic idea for fans like me that are nowhere near that arena because hopefully what will happen is, you know, natural selection will kick in right. and we'll, we'll see, you know, some changes. Um, at the end of the day, this is a horrible idea if you are one of those individuals that bought said tickets, um, you know, I want to get back into an arena and watch a live fight more than anybody in the world. But at mm. the point that the organization and the actual facility are both making you basically agree to a no, no fault waiver for mm. buying the tickets. If you get ill and heaven forbid you die at the point that, that that is the case, Just it should be a clear indication that it is not a good idea to be in this space. Like if you're vaccinated, well, go for it. But if not, you should not be in this space. So I think it's a horrible idea. In, in fairness to that last point, though, there are a lot of sports where the audience is potentially in danger, <laughs> where that very same statement is on the ticket. You know, so, so I would, I would sport. love for hey, you. Hey, yeah, hold on, no, no, yeah, hold on. I got this. I got this. <laughs> give me a sport, John, because I have been to professional and collegiate football and basketball games. I have been to professional, collegiate, and high school baseball games. I have been to wrestling tournaments. Right. I have right. been to right. professional right. wrestling I hear, events. I hear, I hear what? Every... What sport? What sport right. has this clause? The Kumite? All right. All right. Everything. <laughs> everything that you just said. When you buy a ticket, you showing up is your implied consent. And for those things where there have been audience uh, audience members hurt, 
or like yeah. NASCAR yeah. events and stuff, NASCAR right? NASCAR event, hockey you pucks, had, you, see, you know, hockey pucks, things like that. And even some of these uh, mud, mud show wrestling events that Jim Cornette taped. Uh, Ooh. Same <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, Sound nice. So, I mean, it's, I mean, that's the game we're playing. I mean, I don't, I, I want to get vaccinated just because I'm ready to travel. And I don't want anybody telling me that. Uh, get my shot tomorrow, baby. I can't, yeah. I can't travel because I don't have a shot. Or right. Yeah. Like that, so, you know, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, good round one. All right. Put your jump ropes down. Let's get on the mat. Let's do. Uh, let's do some BJJ here. Let's uh, work some stuff. Dana, this is round two, by the way. Dana wanted to move 260 from this past weekend for like basically 260 UFC 260. He wanted to move it to Jacksonville. He actually wanted the 260 that just happened this weekend to happen in Jacksonville so this way he could have that sold out arena. The featherweight title shot had to be canceled when Volkanovski failed COVID protocols. Recently, there have been a few fights that have been postponed due to COVID protocol due to COVID protocol, excuse me. Let's do a fill in the blank for round 2. Maria, you're going to lead us off. Okay. Fighters should be blank about fighting in a packed venue. Um, unconcerned unless they are one of the fighters that has enjoyed the quiet that the empty arenas has provided during matches or during fights. Like that's that's I don't think that for the fighters it's a big deal. Um, I think that I will give the UFC credit that they've done a pretty decent job of uh, making sure that the organization is following the protocols and protecting the athletes. Uh, mm. Just about every single case of COVID-related uh, health issues that has come out of the UFC has not been because they've contracted it at a UFC function, facility, what have you. It's mm -hmm. because they've contracted it in their own personal lives. So I just I don't think this is a big deal for the fight. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, John, same thing for you. Fighters should be blank about fighting in a packed venue. Uh, excited. Uh, chance to fight in front of friends again. Kind of the reason they do it. Uh, you know, chance to uh, take advantage of the opportunity to be on that card because all eyes will be watching. Uh, mm -hmm. And an opportunity to expand your brand and get more eyes on you yeah. as a fighter. Because the world will be watching in Jacksonville. Yep. Having yep. talked to some people, because I know some people down there. Okay. They're they're kind of they're ready for it. They legit. There's a they're ready to go see it. That's why those tickets went just like that. They're interesting. Okay. That's, All right. I mean, listen. I'll only make one amendment. If I was a fighter, and you'd be like, "Look, every show." I'm going to pay you $4 million, $4 million, but you're going to do it in like a janitor's closet where no one will be watching. I'll be like, that's cool. I understand. And I'll be like, well, when can I have like an audience? And they'll be like, well, we're only going to pay you $500,000. And I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. They'll catch it on closed circuit. It's fine. I'm, you know, give me the money. You know, But we, we've already talked about that. So, mm -hmm. all right, here we go. Round three, the final round. Let's go ahead and let's get in an octagon and let's hit some pads. Ticketmaster posted a condition on the tickets stating that the UFC and Ticketmaster were not responsible for any medical complications arising due to the fans catching COVID. Any of the fans catching COVID. All right. So we're going to end with a bang with who am I? And so here we go. John, you are Lenny Curry, the mayor wow. of Jacksonville. Your city, <laughs> your wow. city owns the vice star veterans memorial arena it is not privately held it is owned by your city and so therefore you are the mayor uh lenny can you let us know why it's okay to let the ufc sell out an arena in your town during covid i certainly can jose and this is what i'm going to say to you about that uh since it is owned by the city in jacksonville and uh mm -hmm. i get to say who gets to play in said building because I'm the mayor. Uh, with the UFC coming to town, 
uh, a building full of fight fans. We're looking at hotels filled. We're looking at restaurants filled. We're looking at Uber drivers being employed, Lyft drivers being employed. You know, all it, it's a financial shot into the city's arm right now. That, you know, everybody's got their stimmy money, you know, you know, they got their Biden bucks. So, you know, everybody's flushed with cash, you know. So we should see. We should definitely see how this is going. I'm not going to lie, Lenny, before I move on, I'm, I'm uh, like your, your the way you just landed those colloquialisms. I appreciate that you didn't come on here acting like it was CNN and you needed but, to put your big words in. I love it, Lenny. But I love it. The He's only thing that I, the only thing that I'll add is that, you know, we know what the science is, right? So, yeah, make the right decision. Be an adult. Cuz I mean, old mayor Lenny here is going to be wearing his face mask because I don't want to smell your hot ass breath to begin with <laughs> so that's why i'm gonna be wearing my mask so lenny last question are you saying that covid pretty much showed you the joys of mask wearing and even after you've gotten your shot you may just start wearing it in public is that what you're saying mayor curry yes absolutely gotcha. i'm going to adopt the model of of the good people in japan yeah mm -hmm. just wear it all the time i may too lenny i may too okay maria who are you you get to be Dana White. What I've always wanted in life. Oh man, this is this is you right here. Please explain how selling out an arena to make money isn't more important to you than fan safety. Well, well, first off, Jose, your question's bullshit because I ah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've been practicing my Dana. Um, that, that, that's just bullshit because at the end of the day, listen, uh, am I going to make money? Of course I'm going to make money. I mean, come on. It's, it's America. We don't do things to not make money, but that's not the point. This mm. isn't about making money. This okay. is about helping people get back to some form of normalcy. All right. Oh. The oh. UFC was the first sporting major sporting organization to be back. We oh. made a fight Island. The mm -hmm. world was watching, it went off without a hitch, and mm -hmm. we have been moving full steam ahead, giving people the great sport of MMA sense. This yeah. isn't about money, this is about bringing the sport back, bringing the fans back, giving the fans what they want, and the fighters what they need. And listen, we're all adults, all right? It's about choice. If you, if you choose to come to my event, I appreciate you. We're going to put on a great show, but it is your choice. So if you get sick, I mean, it was your choice. I don't see anything wrong with it. Can I, uh, so, can we, uh, let me ask this question then to uh, both of my co-hosts here. With the, uh, with the people, with the comparison that Maria just made, Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maria didn't make a Maria didn't make a comparison. Uncle uh, Dana made a comparison. All right, all right. I, well, I couldn't tell because you didn't drop your uh, your uh, your favorite one. You didn't call Jose clown shoes. So, uh, <laughs> you know, with that being said, we with the with the need of the people, the fighters, the organization, the country as a whole, would we be mm -hmm. able to make a comparison in the same way Major League Baseball kind of filled that role after 9-11 and the NFL? Mm. Uh, can I go first? You can go first. No. Okay. No. And, and, and the only reason is there are people – who would take that correlation and be like, absolutely. But here is the difference. 9-11 was an isolated event that shook our nation to the core. It claimed thousands of lives in the only, you know, terrorist attack on, on American soil, foreign attack, whatever. Um, it was a big singular incident that we needed an immediate jolt from. Uh, the pandemic to me, especially a pandemic that's been going on for well over a year now, is a little different because in many ways, there are lots of things about our lives that are exactly the same. 
you just gotta put a damn mask on. And for a good segment of the country, unfortunately, the the science has been politicized, and that then makes people feel like it's some event that we need to get back to being America from. No, it's a goddamn medical pandemic. Wear a fucking mask, and we probably wouldn't be here to begin with. So I, I don't I don't think it's the same. I. I think that w- what it is, and, and I mean, and definitely, I mean, like Yankees baseball in particular in the MLB and football after 9-11, they definitely, you know, it, it was definitely something to behold. Um, I wouldn't view MMA and in particular UFC necessarily in the same light. I think that what I got from the NFL and, and MLB and, and from Major League Baseball was there, you know, we just want to get the world back to to whatever the new normal is. It wasn't as politicized, uh, at least by the commissioner of baseball and by the commissioner of football. It was just kind of like, we want to put on a show and, you know, just kind of, you know, play our role. I feel like there is still a little bit of a statement being made by Dana White, which is, I don't feel like he's really accepting what the new normal is going to be. I feel like if, somebody was to come to him and say, you can still pack out arenas and stuff like that, even a little bit after COVID and people start getting their shots, but we would prefer if most people still wore their masks for 90% of the, uh, of, Mm -hmm. of, of, of the, um, uh, uh, for the show. And we would prefer if there were, you know, just, you know, just a lot of just different things around there. Um, you know, that there would still temperature checks and things like that. I feel like after a while, Dana White is going to be like, that's bullshit. That's horse shit. We've beaten COVID and we should never have to do this again. And I don't want to do this again. Um, it, it's for me, it's just the difference of there being sports organizations that understood that after 9-11 happened, the world wasn't going to be the same. And it wasn't their position to try to make a political statement about 9-11. It was just, you know, let's get do this for the people. I'm not so sure that Dana isn't as much doing it for the people as much as he's trying to say, I want to turn back the hands of time. This little COVID thing was a blip in time and it was a major pain in my ass. And I just want to go back to doing what I was doing before COVID hit. If that makes any sense. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, I mean, I don't want to pat him on the back, but I mean, if he's not already stroking his ego, he should understand that having the stones that he had and being sure. as successful as he's been setting the example, so to speak. But yeah, I just figured I'd ask because I, no, there yeah. are going to be some people that make this comparison. Absolutely. Sure. Well, Jose, yeah. can I just add one last point? And I know, yes. I know we're coming up on time, but yeah. John, I think that that's an excellent point, but there's one big difference. When you, when he was the first to come back and did the whole fight Island thing, 99% okay. of what happened was 100, was 100% under his control. So he had control over who had access, who did what, what level of testing they went out of their way to make it go off without a hitch. And he deserves all of the credit that he's gotten. The difference now is that you have zero control over what your fans will do. You don't have control over whether they're pulling their mask on or off, whether they know they're sick and they're still coming in. You have no control over those things. And so, you know, the best laid, you can have the best of intentions with the worst plans. And I think that he has the best of intentions here to show the world that you can do things and it'll be okay. But you have a huge unknown, which is going to be fan behavior that can blow this whole thing up. So it's incredibly different than, you know, coming back for Fight Island and some of these other things. And I'm not sure that he's calculated for that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen, we'll see. I, I wish him the best. For the sake of humanity, I sure as hell hope this isn't a super spreader event. And 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 it has nothing to do necessarily with me rooting for Dana White in this instance. I just hope that those folks in Florida are safe. They may not be, but I hope that this isn't a super spreader event. Because if this is a super spreader event, then this is huge egg on Dana's face. And so we'll see. We'll see what happens. One way or the other, something is going to come of this. And we'll be here for you. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Those were our takes. Leave a comment and let us know what you think. So just leave it, leave it, leave it below. Leave it down below. You guys are doing actually doing a really great job about that. Thank you so much. Um, or you can hit us up on Twitter 
at Bose Throwing. Again, that's at Bose Throwing. If you want to talk about anything else, if you don't necessarily want to talk about this video or you disagree with anything we said or you think that Maria's Dana White impression is amazing, go ahead. You can also let us know on Twitter as well. Um, and so, yeah, you know, um, great discussion. Is very similar. Oof. Oof. I know your mega mind looking ass is not talking. Back, back, back. Oh, okay. Back, back, back. We, we can this this can turn into a fry session real quick, folks. <laughs> All right, everybody. So that is us. We will catch you on the next one. Remember, we have Bellator coming up this weekend. We will be talking about that. If you want to watch bare knuckle fights and talk to anybody, you direct those to John. If you want to talk about Invicta, because I'm not watching that, you can talk to Maria. And with that, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye, guys. See you, everybody.